Hi guys, it's Jessica. I'm here to give you an update on what's been happening. On July 28th, uh, my side started hurting. It actually started Thursday night around 10, and I thought it was just a kink or something like that, and it would go away. And this thing kept hurting all night long. And it really hurt, so I went to the Emerge. I got sick a couple times, and um, yeah, so they thought it was a um, um, bladder infection. So they went, so they sent me home with antibiotics, and that night and that morning. I couldn't hold anything down. I couldn't hold down cranberry juice. I couldn't hold down water. I couldn't hold down nothing. I was just getting really sick in my bucket here. Yeah. And it was it it was pretty bad. And so I went back. Obviously they weren't happy. And I ended up with the same doctor again. The doctor wasn't really much help. Until my mom, or he was going to send, give me a drink and stuff like that and do a chest x-ray and take my IVs out and send me home. My mom came in and told them not to send me home. She says, you do more tests. So they did a, first they did an ultrasound. That didn't show anything. Then they did a um, chest x-ray. That didn't show anything. And then they did a, uh, a, a CAT scan and it, to reveal that I had two small kidney stones. One stuck up here in my kidney and one down here. So they operated that night. They had to put what was called the stint in me. But they didn't put it in one way, they put it in two ways. So it was kind of painful in that. And I spent a couple days in the hospital just to see if I could eat or drink anything. And then they sent me home, I think it was the 1st of August. So I took a week off of work. And then the next, I took a week off of work. And then the week after that, I worked some hours in that. And then the week after that, I started doing bigger shifts, you know, like from 8.30 to whatever time. And it was just getting really hard on me. My sides were hurting. I couldn't bend over that much. So that Friday, I had to go back to the walking clinic. There was two trips to the walking clinic. One before that was because I went to the CLE. And because of the anesthetic they gave me that Saturday night to put the um, stent in. I couldn't remember really anything, so they, uh, um, I went to the CLE and I had a tank top on that Friday. I think it was August 11th. And I got a really bad first degree sunburn all down my back. It was blistering and all that. And I ended up in the walking clinic and they told us to put some Vaseline and some bandages on it. And then, the Friday after that, I ended up back in the walking clinic. This was a new walking clinic. And their beds were so old that, you know. And the thing is, is they wanted me to do a um, urine test. But it was really hard for me because I can't just go in the little thing. I have to have a hat. They didn't have that. So they didn't do that. They did some exams by pushing on my kidneys. And what she did is she gave me um, 
antibiotics for kidney infection and and a um and a um bladder infection before that i was on antibiotics that i had to avoid milk that was for kidney infection because apparently when the doctor opened me out or put or to put the stent in there was a lot of pus coming out so it was and uh, I had a kidney infection plus two kidney stones and she said if they didn't do anything that night I could have died she saved my life and so I had to take two weeks off of work because apparently I had a really bad a bladder infection that's what it was so and then now I'm back to work but I can only do so much and then I went to see um, my doctor my urologist just uh, last week and then in a couple of weeks I'll be going for an, a day surgery where they'll be doing this um, shockwave lipotripsy and he's gonna take the stint out so I'm gonna be out for a while I don't know my worker really doesn't want me to go home that day she wants me to stay a night or two but I don't know if they can do that but that's what's been going on so I won't be making videos for quite a while like me I just woke up I just slept like six hours of the day today I know terrible that's how sick I am I don't feel good and they the, the doctor my family doctor put me on this antidepressant medication I and I feel like I'm gonna vomit I'm gonna you know but she said live with the sad facts and I said to eat if you feel ill well on my operation I can't have anything because they're putting me out again so that's a you won't be seeing any videos from me for now until my health reveals and feels much better. I had lots of blood tests done. And yeah, so that's it for now. I will see you guys soon when I'm better. Bye.